Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to continue with our second and ten college football 1984-16 team playoff. This is our third game in the series. The number 14 UCLA Bruins take on the number 3 Florida Gators. This is a what if there was a 16 team playoff in college football in 1984. Well, we have it now on the channel. I have taken the top 16 teams at the end of the 1984 college football season before the bowl games. So the bowl games do not happen in our alternate playthrough. We've already played Auburn versus BYU. Auburn number 16, BYU number 1. Link provided in the chat. If you'd like to check that out at a later date. And also Florida State number 15 versus Oklahoma number 2. I won't spoil those games in case you want to watch them. I will be playing as the visiting team, the lower seed, except for Boston College. I will always play as Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles. So let's see if BYU can repeat as champs in a playoff system. Up next, UCLA, Florida. UCLA, again, number 14. Florida, number 3. I will be playing as the UCLA Bruins. Alan Griggy, how you doing? He's joined us here in FLA. The Chicago Blitz will be returning to the channel soon. We're just doing this tonight. Here are the key players for the UCLA Bruins. Duvall Love at tackle. Mike Sherrard, wide out and kick returner. Steve Bono, quarterback. Tommy Taylor, linebacker. And Neil Delacono, linebacker. The UCLA defense strength when it lies with their linebackers. You can see UCLA does not do a lot of good things good. Uh, they have a very good kicking game. A very good field goal kicker in a decent punting game. And they do cause turnovers. And they don't give up many penalties. The Florida Gators, key players, Lomas Brown, tackle. Alonzo Johnson, linebacker. Kerwin Bell, quarterback. Ricky Natil, wide receiver, kick returner, and punt returner. John L. Williams, the fullback. A lot of green, no red for the Florida Gators. Thus, you see that the Gators are 19-point favorites. Let's toss it up. UCLA wins the toss. We want the ball. Who will advance to the Elite Eight? We shall find out. Robert Raymond to kick off. For the Gators, back deep, Paco Craig and Mike Sherrard. Game number three in our 16-team playoff, 1984. The number 14 Bruins looking to upset the number three Gators here in Florida. Here's the kickoff. It's a beautiful kick, and it lands in the end zone, bounces past the end line for a touchback. Here come the UCLA Bruins under center, Steve Bono. Your running backs are Danny Andrews, Brian Wiley. Sherrard and Young, that's Mike Sherrard and Mike Young, are your receivers. Derek Tennell's the tight end. I formation for the Bruins, first and ten. And we're going to go outside run to Danny Andrews. First and 10, looking to turn the corner. Florida playing a run defense. They're keying Wiley. Can Andrews turn the corner? Yes, he does. He'll pick up five before he's knocked out of bounds. Good job by UCLA. So it's going to be second and five for the Bruins. Ball spotted at their 25. Andrews will come out. Mel Farr Jr. will come in. Double fullbacks, two big backs. Though I didn't think Melfar Jr. was that big. And we're going to go screen to Farr Jr. Florida 
doubling Sherrard. Here's a screen grabbed by Farr Jr. at the 23 and immediately knocked out of bounds. He will actually lose two yards. Excellent defense for the Gators quickly covering the perimeters and the flanks actually. So third and seven after a two yard loss on the screen. Far will go out. Danny Andrews will come back in. Sherrard and Young are your wideouts. Derek Tennell's the tight end. Third and seven. We're going to look for a medium pass to the running back, Danny Andrews, on third and seven. Bump and run coverage for Florida, doubling Sherrard. Bono looking to throw. He looks at Andrews. Doesn't have it there Flag to Mike the Young. Incomplete flag. Pass interference. Defense. Yes, pass interference on the Gators. And that makes Terry Donahue very happy on the UCLA sideline. That will give them an automatic first down. UCLA accepts first, first and 10 for the Bruins. At their 27, that was huge. Drive stays alive on the penalty. Bono brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Play action fake. Medium short to Mike Young on first and 10. Florida playing the pass, bump and run, doubling. Young, Bono looking, looking, looking. Now he's gonna throw to Tennell. Tennell has it at the 26, the tight end will lose a yard. And again, it's a quick Florida Gator defense that brings down the tight end, Derek Tennell of the Bruins. So it's gonna be second and 11 for UCLA as they go backwards a yard from their 26, second and 11. Outside run on second and 11 by Danny Andrews of the Bruins. Florida tight coverage. Here comes Alonzo Johnson on the blitz. And Danny Andrews can only pick up one yard before he is brought down. Third and 10 for the Bruins at their 27. So they get that yard back. They're going to go to Derek Tennell, the tight end, on a medium short route. Andrews is being keyed for the pass, and so is Young. Bono throws to Tennell. It's a gain of 13! As Tennell brought it in at the 33 and is tackled at the 40. Bono puts it right on Derek Tennell's hands, and that is a huge third down conversion for the underdog UCLA Bruins. First and 10 for the Bruins. At their 40, the drive stays alive. Andrews and Wiley will go out. Gaston Green and James Primus will come in. I formation. Sherrard and Young will go out. So will Tennell. Greg Boland comes in at tight end. Paco Craig and Carl Durrell in at wide out. First and 10. Inside run with Gaston Green on first and 10. Florida tight coverage. Keen Green on the run. Gaston Green gets the carry. Not much there. He finds an opening and he picks up four. Tough run by Gaston Green. It'll be second and six. Second and six for the Bruins from their 44. Short pass to Paco Craig on second and six. Defensive backs in tight coverage. It's an all-out blitz against Steve Bono. Bono rolls away from the pressure. Bono, quick toss to Paco Craig. And he picks up three before he's knocked out of bounds. A big third and three for the Bruins as they approach midfield. Ball spotted at the UCLA 47. Third and three. Primus will go out. Danny Andrews comes in. Split backfield now of Andrews and Green. Young and Shepard come back in at wide out. So does Derek Tennell on third and three. Winner advances to the Elite Eight. 
Hand off to Gaston Green out of the split backfield. Florida tight coverage. Doubling Sherrard. Green gets the call and he is smothered under by Tim Newton. It is a loss of a yard. The Gators hold it in a big way. Fourth and four for UCLA at their 46. Kevin uh, Buenafe will come out to punt. Back deep, the dangerous Ricky Natil. Here's the punt. It's a good one. Perfectly placed. Ricky Natil at the 8. And Natil's going to have a little bit of room over the 10. 20. 30. He's got room. 40. It's going to be a big return by Ricky Natil. He crosses midfield. 30. He breaks a tackle. Touchdown. Ricky Natil goes all the way. And the Gators with a Cobra Kai strike. 92 yards on the punt return. Great job by the Gators special team. And just like that, they are up 6 nothing. Chris Perkins for the extra point. It is up and good. Ricky Natil with a 92-yard punt return. Extra point good by Perkins. 7-0 Gators. And their offense hasn't even touched the field yet. Now Robert Raymond will kick off for the Gators. Mild crosswind in the face of Robert Raymond. Back deep Paco Craig and Mike Sherrard. So UCLA was hoping to, you know, pin the Gators back. But fielding it was Ricky Natil at the two, and the rest is history. At the eight, excuse me, and he goes 92 yards. Joining us here in Florida with Alan Griggy, Steeler fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt, and Captain Carl 8. Hope all is well. Here's the kickoff by Robert Raymond and the Gators. 7 nothing lead with 11-18 to play in the first quarter. Paco Craig has it. It's going to be a 22-yard return for Paco Craig. Ball spotted at the UCLA 27. Shock and awe with that Ricky Natil punt. Wiley and Andrews I formation for UCLA. Shepard and Young are your wideouts. Derek Tennell, the tight end. Steve Bono under center. Now we'll have to lead a comeback here. We're going to go play action fake, medium long to Mike Shepard on first and 10. Tight coverage by the Gators, keying the run. Wiley, someone missed a block. Bono under pressure. Bono scrambling. He moves away. He's running. Looking, looking. He evades two tacklers. He has some room. He'll pick up 10. They're going to come out and measure. So it's close to a first down. They're going to be short by six inches. So Steve Bono scrambles for nine and a half. Retro Replays MN has joined us here in Florida, and he's a Gators fan. He says, go Gators, or go Florida. Steeler fan 1933 says, wow, on that punt return. So second and short for UCLA at their 36. Play action fake. Medium pass, Mike Shepard. All-purpose defense for Florida. They're watching Andrews on the run. Play action fake. Flag Shepard, flag on the play. Shep, uh, Sherrard, excuse me, well covered. And Bono throws it away. Offense. Ah! Oh! Penalty on UCLA. So instead of third and short, it's going to be second and long. 15-yard penalty. Illegal block below the waist by the Bruins. Terry Donahue, none too happy with his squad on the sideline. So second and 16. Draw Danny Andrews on second and 16 out of the I formation. They're doubling the tight end to Nell. Here's the draw to Danny Andrews. Andrews, middle's clogged up, breaks out of the pack, and it's a big run by Andrews. 30 over his 40 and pushed out of bounds. Oh, another flag. 32-yard pickup. Flagrant face mask. Defense. Defense. Yes! Tack it on, baby! So a big run on the draw by Danny Andrews. I think that face mask, face mask was on Roger 
Sibald, the defensive back. So a 32-yard run plus a 15-yard penalty, and UCLA is in business trying to tie this game. They trail 7-0. If you're just joining us, uh, Ricky Natil. Let's go to the box score quickly. Ricky Natil, after UCLA got the ball to start the game, got close to midfield and was stopped. And then here the punt was caught by Natil at the 8, and he went 92 yards on the return. The Perkins kick was good. So the Bruins trail 7-0. First and 10 at the Gator 32. Play action fake. Medium pass to Sherrard. Standard man coverage by the Gators. Doubling Sherrard. Bono looking, looking, looking. Bono under duress. And he is sacked by Alonzo Johnson. Loss of 11. So again, the Gators defense coming after Steve Bono and the Bruins. It's going to be second and 21 now after that 11-yard loss. Ball spotted at the Florida 43. Draw play Danny Andrews on second and long. Florida playing soft man coverage. Extra defensive back keying Sherrard and Young. Here's the draw. Can Andrews pop again? He only picks up three as Keith Williams makes the stop. Good job by Keith Williams of the Gators. Third and 18. Only a 20% chance from here that John Lee can put the Bruins on the board. What do you do on third and 18? Wiley. What? Is, Wiley's going to come out. Gaston Green's going to come in. He's actually a D. Actually, you know what? Wiley will stay in. We're going to screen to Danny Andrews on third and 18. Deep zone cover just could pop. Andrews has it at the 45-40. And knocked out at the 28. Gain of 12. Fourth and six. But that puts us in John Lee field goal position. 75% for Lee. And we're going to go for the field goal. 45-yard attempt. Lee strikes it. It's in the air. And it's good! So the Bruins are on the board. The UCLA Bruins are on the board. John Lee makes the 45-yard field goal. And the Bruins cut into the Gators' lead. It's now 7-3. to three. So Florida only up four. SGJ Jamie has joined us in Florida. Retro Replay MN. Perfect time for this game as I am starting a fictional player NCAA project in my football game. What game are you using, my friend? Also, remember, Pro Strategy Football out there on Steam. Excellent value. All the NFL seasons are free. Pro Strategy Football 2022. Absolutely fabulous game. Let's get back to our game. We're using 2nd and ten. So 7-3, to three, and we're going to kick deep. Massey and Henderson back deep for the Gators. Lee strikes it, fielded at the 1. Massey has no room. He is smothered under at the 10. So Massey takes it out of the end zone. Steps out of bounds. They're going to... Oh, at the 12, excuse me. They spotted at the 12. So Florida, in the shadow of their own end zone, first and 10 from the 12. And their offense finally on the field. Kerwin Bell at quarterback. Your running backs are Neil Anderson and John L. Williams. I formation. Frankie Neal and Gary Roll. Or Rolly are your wideouts, and Walter Odom's the tight end. Bruins playing a 3-4. Bruins' defense, the strength of their defense is their linebackers. And we're going to play all-purpose, all-purpose defense on first and 10. UCLA standard set, 
Neil Anderson gets the carry. And he only picks up two yards. Good job by UCLA. So it's going to be second and eight for the Gators from their 14. Second and eight, three wide receivers set of Natil, Neal, and McDonald. Tight end is Petey. Petty. Lorenzo Hampton, the lone setback. Kerwin Bell under center. We're going to play standard man, extra defensive back, shadow the quarterback. We're not going to double anyone because that will leave someone wide open. Third, uh, second and eight. It's a handoff to Lorenzo Hampton. He turns the corner, and he swarmed over. The ball is popped loose. The ball is loose. Who has it? And Florida comes away from the scrum with the pigskin. Oh, boy, UCLA, who forces turnovers, almost got one there. And it's going to be a five-yard gain on that wild run to the outside. That will leave third and short, three yards approximately for the Gators. Ball spotted at their 19. Boy, UCLA. UCLA really needed that turnover. 7-3 Gators, 7-14 to play in the first quarter. I formation. Your up back is Anthony Williams behind him. Neil Anderson, Kerwin Bell under center. Two tight end set of Odom and Petty. Ricky Natil, the dangerous wide out. He had the punt return for the touchdown. Third and three. We're going to go linebacker blitz. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. We're going to play run defense on third and... Oh, that could be a huge mistake, too. We're going to play run defense on third and three, and we're going to key Neil Anderson. Third and three, King Anderson on the run. It's a handoff to Neil Anderson. He's hit at the line, but he breaks okay. through, and he picks up eight yards. Even keying Neil Anderson. The Bruins can't stop him. Good job by Anderson and the old line of the Gators. They convert on third and three. First and ten for the Gators at their 27. John L. Williams and Lorenzo Hampton eye formation. Natil and Rowley, your wideouts, Petty, is the tight end. Kerwin Bell under center. UCLA 3-4. We're going to play all-purpose defense on first and 10. Here's the snap. Bell hands it to Hampton. Not much doing to the outside. He only picks up one. Great job by the Bruins stringing it out. Second and nine. Replay Gamer has joined us here in Florida to watch this matchup. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. So second and nine. Anderson and Henderson are your backs. I formation for the Gators. We'll stick with our three, four, second and nine. Standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback on second and nine. Bell's going to throw. No, it's a draw to Neil Anderson, but he only picks up two. Quickly closing on him were those great UCLA Bruins linebackers. They'll have to go seven yards to pick up the first. It's third and seven. Ball at the Gator 30. Bruins need to get back on the field here. Third and seven. Williams and Hampton are the backs. I formation. Bell under center. Natil and Frankie Neal are your wideouts. Walter Odom's the tight end for the Gators. Third and seven. We're going to send a linebacker on the blitz. Standard coverage. Extra defensive back. And we're not going to key anyone. Here comes the blitz. Extra defensive back. Knowles on the blitz. Bell looking to Williams. Williams 40, and he's going to pick up 11 yards. Knocked out of bounds by Gifford Irving. So Kerwin Bell 
goes to John L. Williams out of the backfield, and they convert as they pick up 11. First and 10 for the Gators at their 41. 5.43 left in the first quarter. 7-3 Gators. We're going to go run blitz here on first and 10. It's an all-out run blitz by UCLA. Anderson has the ball, and he still picks up five yards. Good job by the Gators' offensive line. And Neil Anderson, second and five for the Gators at their 46. Anderson and Williams, your backs. Bell's under center. McDonald and Rowley, your wideouts. Petty is the tight end. Second and five. We're going to go standard zone on second and five. Bruins drop to the zone. It's a run by Neil Anderson. He's hitting the backfield, still on his feet. Trying to get to the sidelines. And he's going to pick up five and a first down before he's finally tackled by Jeff Glazer. Tremendous effort by Neil Anderson. It looked like he was going to be stopped for a loss in the backfield. Gets out of that. Gets to the outside. Stiffs arm one defender before Glazer brings him down. First and ten for the Gators at the UCLA 49 as they are in Bruin territory. Anderson and Williams, your backs. Natil and Neal, Frankie Neal, are your wideouts. Walter Odom's the tight end. Bell under center. It's going to be a run blitz on first and ten. Here come all the linebackers. Hand off to Neal Anderson. Anderson log jam, sidelines, but he's still able to struggle for four yards. Second and six for the Gators at the UCLA 45. Williams and Hampton eye formation for the Florida Gators. Second and six. We're going to play standard coverage, shadow the quarterback. We're looking pass on second and six. Here's the snap. Bell drops back. Bell under duress. Get him. He's scrambling. And he will only pick up a yard. Good pressure. By the Bruins. That'll leave third and five. Kerwin Bell gets up a little groggy. 3.09 left and in the first quarter. 7-3 Gators. Gators scored on a 92-yard punt return by Ricky Natil. Extra point was good. UCLA, after converting some tough third downs, including a help of the yellow hanky, 45-yard field goal by John Lee. Back to the game we go. Closing minutes of the first quarter. Big third and five for this Bruins defense. Hampton and Henderson are your backs. I formation. Bell under center. Barks out the signals. Third and five. We're going to go linebacker blitz. Extra defensive back. And we're going to play tight coverage. Here we go. Third and five, trying not to give Bell any time here. Delacono on the blitz. Bell drops back, and he hits Hampton. 27-20, touchdown! He hits Lorenzo Hampton out of the backfield for the score. I don't know why Lorenzo Hampton's pit photo did not load, but a 44-yard touchdown pass, Kerwin Bell. To Lorenzo Hampton. Hampton did a lot of running, a lot of yak on that. It's now 13 to 3 as the Blitz did not get to Bell. Perkins for the extra point. 97% chance of making it. The kick is up and good. 14 to 3 Gators. Gators were 19 point favorites. So the offense put some points on the board after the special teams and the punt return. Robert Raymond will kick off for the Florida Gators. 3.01 left in the first quarter. 11-point lead for the Gators. 14-13 over the UCLA Bruins. Gators the number three team and the UCLA Bruins number 14. Here's the kickoff. Back deep, Durrell and Sherrard for the Bruins. They're looking for a big return here. Raymond kicks off. Durrell at the 10. And it's a return of 13 yards for Durrell before he's knocked out of bounds. UCLA has it first and 10 at their 23. Green and Primus are your running backs. I formation, Primus the up back. Sherrard and Young are your wideouts. 
Derek Tennell, the tight end. Play action fake, medium short to the tight end, Derek Tennell. Steve Bono drops back to pass. They're doubling Sherrard. Bono scrambles. He's forced to run. And he'll pick up four, knocked out of bounds, second and six. Second time, Bono had to use his legs to keep the play positive. Second and six. Young and Sherrard go to the sideline. Craig and Durrell come on the field. Play action fake. Again, we're going to go to the tight end. Derek Tennell. Neutral defense for the Gators. They're looking for the run. They're keying Primus. Play action fake. Bono to Tennell. And tipped away by White. Adrian White makes the play for the Gators. So a big third and six here. Third and six for the Bruins from their 27. Outside run by Gaston Green on third and six. Trying to catch Florida playing pass. They're looking for the short pass. Alonzo Johnson blitzing. Can Green turn the corner? He picks up seven yards on the first down. Gaston Green turns the corner. And UCLA moves the chains. Good job by the Bruins offensive line. Pinching off the inside to allow Green to get to the out. First and ten for the Bruins at their 34. To the line of scrimmage they come. Bono under center. Play action fake. He's going to look for Paco Craig. Medium pass to Paco Craig. They're keying Primus on the run. Jarvis Williams jumps the route. He misses it. Craig has it. Gain of 13. As Craig went to the sidelines and is shoved out by Curtis Stacy. Oh, Jarvis Williams for the Gators with was thinking pick six. But Paco Williams has the ball land into his hands and picks up 13. Good toss by Steve Bono. Remember, the winner advances to the Elite Eight. First and 10 for the Bruins at their 47. Craig and Durrell go out. Young and Sherrard come in. Green and Primus go out. Wiley and Andrews come in the backfield. Tennell will go out. Greg Boland comes in at tight end. Bono under center, first and 10. Outside run to Danny Andrews on first and 10. Neutral defense for the Gators. Doubling Sherrard. They're looking past. Can Andrews turn the corner? And he only picks up one. It was a hard hit by Tommy Duhart. Trying to dislodge the ball from Danny Andrews. Andrews goes back to the huddle a bit Spaghetti leg. Second and nine from the UCLA 48. Again, outside run, Danny Andrews. Florida expecting pass, bump and run coverage, doubling Sherrard. Bono, it's a pitch, right side. Andrews turns it upfield, and he's knocked out of bounds at the Florida 35. A gain of 17, so Danny Andrews gets his revenge. UCLA Move the chains, a new set of downs. First and 10 for the Bruins at the Gator 35. Andrews and Wiley will come off. Green and Primus in the I formation now. Sh Sherrard and Younger wideouts. Tanel back in at tight end. First and 10. Inside run to Gaston Green on first and 10. Eight men up in the box. They're keying Green. Green gets the carry. Great block. Green has some room. 30. 20. He could score. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 12. 23-yard gain. Good job of blocking. The key block was by Mike Hartmeyer. Green goes right through. Bounce to the outside. Picks up 23. Ricky Eisman saved the touchdown for the moment. The Bruins have come to play here in Gator Country. First and 10 for the Bruins at the Florida 12. Bono brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Steve Bono is going to call his own number on first and 10. Florida playing the run. They're keen Primus. Bono, he'll take it himself. And he'll get walloped in the backfield by Mark Korf. That's a loss of one. 
So second and 11 from the 13. 24 seconds left in this first quarter. Bruins would love, obviously, to put a score up on the board. Outside run, Gaston Green. Can he punch it in? Man coverage for Florida, doubling the tight end to Nell. Green on the outside. He's at the, he picks up nine. And that will end the first quarter. After 15 minutes of football in this college playoff, the number three, Florida Gators 14, the number 14, UCLA Bruins 3, but the Bruins on the doorstep looking to punch it in. Third and two for the Bruins. Third and two. It will be Steve Bono trying to punch it in. Florida playing the run. King Primus flag on the play. Bono. And he is stopped at the one. Offside. Defense. Defense. Yes! Offside's defense will accept half the distance. And that's going to be a first and goal. Oh, a huge penalty on the Gators. Bruins have four cracks to punch it in. They're going to give it to Gaston Green. No fooling around. Gators fans screaming defense. Green hit at the line. Dives forward. Injured on the play. Second and goal. At the Gator one. How the if if it was I don't get that. He should have been at the one. It was half the distance of the but whatever. Second and goal from the one. Gaston Green will come off the field. He wanted to stay on. We're gonna take him off. Wiley and Andrews come on. And we're gonna go two tight end set with Sherrard, the lone wide out. And it's gonna be short yardage to Brian Wiley, the fullback, and he pound it in. On second and one, Florida short yardage. They're watching Bono for the run. Wiley cut down in the backfield. Loss of two, Arthur White. So the Gators win the day at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal. The Bruins are going backwards. It's now at the Florida three. Third and goal. Three-headed monster in the backfield. Andrews, Wiley, and Gaston Green. Inside run, Gaston Green. Two tight ends set for the Bruins. Eight men in the box. They're keying Green. Green on the run. No game. Fourth and goal. We'll pull to within eight. That's a, a great job by the Gators denying the Bruins the touchdown. But we're gonna John Lee's going to come out for the automatic 20-yard field goal. He's one for one today. He'll be two for two in moments. It's good. So 14 to six, we keep it a one possession game, but we're disappointed that we could not punch it in. Now, can our linebackers come up with a big play on defense? Lee puts the ball on the tee. He will kick off into a mild crosswind. He's facing into that. Back deep for the Gators, Macy and Joe Henderson. Here's the kickoff by John Lee. He's made two field goals. It's a long and high kick. Rolls into the end zone for a touchback. Replay Gamer, is this season included in the package or did you have to purchase this one? This college season is included in the package. Every NFL season is included in the package. Um... Even if you don't get the season you want for college, they have over 5,000 college teams because they feel bad, and they give you 5,000 college teams from throughout the eras of college football. So you can play a lot. You can make up your own. You can buy. The, the college seasons are only $10, I believe. So. 12.53 left in the first half of football. Winner goes to the Elite Eight. This is a battle between number three Florida Gators and number 14 UCLA Bruins. Gators lead by eight. First and ten for the Gators at their 20. Bell under center. Anderson and Williams eye formation in the backfield. Natiel and Neal, your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. We're going to play all-purpose defense on first and ten. Here's the snap. Bell hands it to Neal Anderson. 
He'll only pick up a couple. Good job by those linebackers of the Bruins' swarm to the ball. Now make it second and eight. Remember the great sports is here. Check out that wonderful channel. And thank you for joining us. So second and eight. We got a humdinger here in Florida between the Bruins and Gators. Williams and Hampton are your backs. Bell under center. Natil and Rowley, your wideouts. Petty's the tight end. Second and eight. We're going to blitz a linebacker. Standard coverage. Actually, we're going to play tight, tight coverage. Maybe we jump a route here. Here comes the blitz. It's Knowles on the blitz for UCLA. Bell flush for the pocket. He's looking, looking, looking. Throws medium short to John L. Williams. Pulled down by Williams at the 26, but quickly tackled by Tony Phillips. Gain of six. Remember, it was John L. Williams who went for a big score on a similar play. No, it was Hampton, excuse me. It was Hampton on a similar play. Hampton for 44 yards. Big third and two. Big third and two here for the UCLA Bruins defense. Bell under center. Anderson Williams eye formation in the backfield. The lone wide out, Frankie Neal. Two tight ends, Walter Odom and Tom Petty. No, not that Tom Petty. It's Petty. Double D. Third and two. We're going to play... Inside run, third and two. We're UCLA playing the inside run. Flag on the play. False start. false start. Yes, false start on the Gators. Back up the bus. And the flags were all over the place. Everyone saw that false start. Five-yard penalty. Now make it third and seven. I've done college football uh, before on my channel. But... Uh, I really do enjoy this game. I like second and ten. Of course, I love pro strategy football. I love action PC football. I like stratomatic football. I like to play all different games that I like. So, and I suggest people play the games they like. Third and seven. Anderson and Williams, your backs. Ricky Natil and Frankie Neal, your wideouts. As Natil comes back on the field, Petty goes off. Walter Odom, the lone tight end. Third and seven. We're going to blitz a linebacker again. Extra defensive back, standard. Actually, we're going to go tight coverage, choke off the short route. Here comes the blitz. Tommy Taylor. They're looking deep for Ricky Natil. Overthrown, incomplete. Oh, no flag. Pass interference. Oh. Offense. Yes. Pass interference on the offense. We will decline. And the UCLA Bruins defense will hold. We brought the pressure. We do not want Kerwin Bell, as we decline that, make it fourth and seven. They will punt. We do not want Kerwin Bell to be happy-go-lucky in that pocket. David Nadone will punt. Again, into a mild crosswind. Ron Pitts back deep. For the Bruins. Here's the punt by Nadone. The kick is up in the air. It's a good punt. Fair catch by Pitts. And UCLA will start first and 10 at their 35. Down by 8. Andrews and Wiley, I formation in the Bruins' backfield. Steve Bono's the quarterback. Sherrard and Young, your wideouts. Bolin's the tight end. We're going to go short pass to Greg Bolin on first down. It's going to be a quick toss to the tight end. Florida playing the run. Keying Andrews. Bolin towards the sidelines. Complete the Bolin. Can he turn it upfield? He does. Picks up eight. Second and two. Nice job by Bono to Bolin. Second and two. How do you do? Inside run, Brian Wiley, the fullback. Standard defense by the Gators. And they're going to key Wiley. Wiley gets a good block. Blocked by Duvel Love. 
And he picks up five before being brought down by Keith Williams. So a nice block by Duval Love. One of the key players for the Bruins. First down for UCLA at their 48. Eight points down. Ten minutes of play in this first half of football. Young and Sherrard go off the field. Craig and Dorrell come in at wide out. Greg Boland stays in at tight end. Andrews and Wiley, the I formation. Play action pass. We're going to look for Danny Andrews on a medium short route. On first and ten. Bump and run coverage by the Gators. Doubling Bolin. Play action by Bono. Looking for Andrews. Complete to Andrews out of the backfield. And he'll pick up four. Quickly closing and making the tackle. Roger Simbald of the Gators. Second and six for the Bruins. At the Gator 48. Andrews and Wiley go out. Wow, we've already used Gaston Green. Well, um, Gaston Green and James Primus come in. We're going to go look for Gaston Green in the flat. It's a flare pass to Green. Neutral defense by the Gators. They're expecting Green for the carry. It's complete to Gaston Green. He'll pick up five. He's knocked out of bounds. Third and one for the Bruins. Just over nine to play in this first half. 14 to six. Florida Gators. Bruins down by eight. One possession as in college football. There is a two point conversion. Three running backs for the Bruins. Andrews, Wiley, and Primus. Three-headed monster. Bono under his center. Sherrard, the lone wideout. Tennell's the tight end. Third and one. Bono will take it himself on third and one. Trying to convert. Gators looking for the short pass. Bono's going to run. No gain. He is stuffed as Roger Simbald comes up and nails him. Third, it's going to be fourth and one. Offense stays on the field. This is a big play here. Offense stays on the field. Third and one. Two tight end set. Tanell and Bolin. Three running backs. Danny Andrews right up the middle. Out of the three-headed monster. Gators playing short yardage. They're keen. Primus. Danny Andrews gets the carry. And he is brought down for a one-yard loss. Keith Williams blows through and wraps up Andrews in the backfield. And it is a turnover on downs by the Bruins. We couldn't get one freaking yard on two plays. Uncle Dave Gardner has joined us here in Florida. He says, go Bruins. Well, it's not those Bruins, Dave, but I appreciate it. Remember to check out Digital to Dice. Had a wonderful interview with the creator of Baseball and Football Mogul. And if you go to purchase that game and you type in digital, you get 40% off. So you're gonna, you can get either baseball or the football game for $23. You get them both. And again, that's before taxes. You can get them both for $46. Remember to check out Digital Dice with Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to. And, of course, subscribe to Dave Gardner's YouTube channel. Turnover on downs. We still trail by 8, 8.19 to play in 
the first half. We're going to go all out run blitz on first and 10. We're going to try to cause a turnover here. Here come the linebackers. Hand off to Anderson. Pitch play. Anderson can't get to the outside. No gain. Great job by the UCLA Bruins linebacking core. As Dave Garner says, yeah, it was cool of him. Yes, it was. Um, very a uh, clay uh, dreslock. Very nice of him. I'm actually going to pick up the baseball game for sure this week. Well, by tomorrow. And I might pick up the football game. I don't know. I, 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 if Clay listens to me, which he doesn't, or if you can contact, he should try to put a little... I know he says not many people want it, but if you put a little animation in that game like you do with the baseball game, it'd be a lot of fun. A lot more fun. It's still a fun game. I've played them both. I've enjoyed them. I haven't bought one in a while, though. Three wide receivers set on second and ten for Kerwin Bell and the Gators. Your wideouts, Natil, Neal, and Rowley. The lone running back, Lorenzo Hampton. Walter Odom is the tight end. We're going to send the linebacker on the blitz. Extra defensive back. Third and uh, second and ten. We're play standard coverage. Can we bring the pe pressure to Kerwin Bell? Here comes Delacono on the blitz. Bromley and Hampton on the outside run. He'll pick up five. Knocked out of bounds by Herb Welch, who would play for the Lions and the Giants in the NFL. Third and five. Can the Bruins hold? Ball spotted at the Gator 49 as Florida is encroaching upon UCLA Bruin territory. And Dave Gardner brings up a good point. If you'd like to try out the game, you can download older, older games for Baseball Mogul for free. Same thing with the football game. So third and five, 726 and counting in this first half of football. Gators up 14 to six. We're going to blitz a linebacker, tight coverage, extra defensive back. We're not going to key anyone. Can we get the Kerwin Bell? Delacono on the blitz again. Bell moving around in the pocket. It's a draw to Williams. He's hit at the line, but he busts through and he picks up eight. So the draw play pops, and the Gators move the chains, get a new set of downs. First and ten for the Gators at the Bruin 43. Here we go, all-out run blitz. We're going to try to force a turnover. Here come the linebackers. Hampton gets the carry, and he only picks up one as he is swarmed under. By an aggressive Bruins defense. Second and nine for the Gators at the UCLA 42. We're going to drop back in a zone coverage on second and nine. Anderson and Williams are the backs for the Gators. Kerwin Bell under center, number 12, the quarterback. Natil and Neal, your wideouts. Petty, P-E-D-D-I-E, -D -D -E, the tight end. We're going to play a standard pass zone. They drop back into the zone. It's a handoff to Neil Anderson. Anderson quickly into the secondary. Finally tripped up by Ron Pitts, but it's a 19-yard gain. And here come the Gators. First and 10 at the UCLA 23, under six to play in the first half. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. They're in the box. It's a pitch to Hampton, and he gets knocked out of bounds. Only a one-yard gain. Excellent side-to-side -side pursuit. By the Bruins, Jeff Glazer will be credited with the stop. Second and nine for the Gators at the UCLA 22. Corlew and Williams are the backs for Florida. Bell under center. Neal and McDonald, your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. Second and nine. Standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback on second and nine. We're looking pass. Flag on the play. False start. False start. Encroachment. Ah, defense. Defense. It's going to give him five yards. So it's going to be second and four after that five-yard encroachment penalty. Charlie Pell clapping his hands on the Gators' sideline, the head coach. So second and four. Williams and Hampton are now in the I formation for the Gators. Second and four. We're going to play run blitz on second and four. Can we hit someone? Knock the ball loose. Here come the linebackers. Bell's going to throw. Quick toss to McDonald. Pulled down by McDonald to 15. And touchdown. So Kerwin Bell recognizes the blitz. Goes quick toss. 
to Ray McDonald, 17 yards, and the Nestie plunge is now 20 to 6. Gators. Perkins for the extra point, almost automatic. The kick is on its way, and it's good. 21 to 6. Florida Gators, number three in the country, over the number 14 UCLA Bruins with 5.28 to play in the first half. Bruins need to put one in the end zone. No more field goals for UCLA. Remember, they were stopped on third and one and fourth and one. We couldn't convert. Gators want to get to that Elite Eight. Robert Raymond to kick off. Mild crosswind in his face. Willie Anderson and Mike Sherrard back deep. We need a big return. Here's the kickoff by Raymond. And the ball goes out of bounds at the 11. Here come the Yellow Hankies. The kickoff went out of bounds. Kicking team. So they'll have to do it again. Back up the bus, Gus. Don't need to be coy, Roy. Just drop off the key, Lee, and set UCLA free. Raymond will try it again. Paco Craig fields it this time. And he has an opening, and he gets out to the 39. 28-yard return by Paco Craig. First and 10 for the Bruins at their 39. It's going to be Durrell and Young, your wideouts. Bolin's a tight end. First and 10. Play action fake. Oh, boy. Medium short to Carl Durrell on first and 10. Gators, man-to-man -man coverage. Here comes an all-out blitz. Play action. Does Bono have time? Durrell. Durrell has it at the 44. But he is knocked out of bounds. Only a gain of five. Durrell couldn't get any yak yards after the catch, but it's a positive play. Second and five. Derek Tennell will come in. Durrell will go out. Mike Sherrard will come in. So Sherrard and Young are your wideouts. Tennell, the tight end. Andrews and Wiley are your backs. A screen to Andrews on second and five. Florida neutral defense keying the run and Wiley. Bono looking for the screen. Andrews on the screen at the 40 and brought down quickly by Mark Korf. Only a gain of one. Only a gain of one. So a big third and four for the Bruins. Under five to play in this first half of football. Tennell goes out. Greg Boland comes in at tight end. Third and four. Danny Andrews on the outside run. Third and four from the 45. Bump and run coverage for the Gators. Doubling Sherrard. Andrews, can he turn the corner? He only picks up one. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. And here comes the punt team for the Bruins. Kevin Buenafe will punt. And we're going to kick away from Ricky Natiel. He's already had a 92-yard punt return for a touchdown. And kick safe. And here's the punt. They want to kick away from Natiel. It's a short high punt. Great penetration. But he gets the punt off. Natiel has it at the 10. Tripped up at the 20, but a flag on the play. Return of 10 yards on the 44-yard punt. Holding. Receiving team. Yes. We will take that. Back up the bus, Gus. Some boo birds coming here by the Gators fans. We accept. So the Gators take over first and 10. In the shadow of their own end zone, the ball spotted at the Florida 5. 4-14 to play in this first half. Gators 21, Bruins 6. We need a turnover here. We need something big. Run blitz on first and 10. Come on, linebackers. That's the strength of our defense. Here they come. John L. Williams, the ball carrier. Brown clears a path. And John L. picks up four. We're not going to call timeout. Neither do the Gators. 3.33 left in this first half of football. 21-6 Gators. Second and six. Second and six. Here comes a run blitz again. We need to force a turnover here. UCA is bringing the linebackers. Anderson has the ball. 
Has some running room to the outside. He'll pick up first seven down. and the first down. So the blitz was more towards the middle. Good job by the O-line of the Gators. Pinching inside, allowing Neil Anderson to get to the outside and go for the first down. RJL518 has joined us here in Florida. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. RJL518, our good friend Rob. Card and Dice Baseball. Inside Pitch he is his game of choice. And some military strategy game on his channel now. So first and ten for the Gators at their 16. Play run defense here. No blitz. UCLA looking for the run. Anderson gets the carry again. Goes to the short side of the field, and he picks up five. So the Gators keep it on the ground. They have a 21-6 lead. We're not going to call timeout. 240 left in the first half. So second and five. We're going to go linebacker, blitz, tight coverage. Anderson and Williams are your backs for Florida. Kerwin Bell under center. McDonald and Rowley. The wideouts, Odom's the tight end. Come on, pick six. Come on, pick six. Here comes the blitz. It's Delacono. Bell gives it to Anderson. Anderson gets to the outside, turns the corner, but Chris Block with a good torpedo tackle limits him to three yards, third and two. Third and two, we will not call timeout. Under two minutes to play in this first half. Third and two. John L. Williams, the fullback. Lorenzo Hampton behind him. Kerwin Bell under center. Center. Ricky Natil is the lone wideout. Two tight ends. Odom and Petty. And we're going to go blitz the linebacker. Standard coverage. Extra defensive back. And we're going to double Ricky Natil. Come on, try to go over the top on third and two. Here comes the blitz. It's Delacono again, doubling the teal, and it's John L. Williams with the ball, and he pops! He pops for 17 before Kenny Norton Jr. on the tackle. So they stuck with the ground game. We were hoping they were going to try to go over the top, play action. Another first down. We don't call timeout. And the Gators don't call timeout. 134, first and 10 for Florida at their 41. Standard man-to-man -man coverage, shadow the quarterback. Extra defensive back on first and ten. What will Kerwin Bell and the Gators do? Bell rolls away from the pressure. Long pattern. Great catch by Neal at the UCLA 41. Gain of 18. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wow. So Kerwin Bell rolls away from the pressure and hits Frankie Neal for 18 at the Bruin 41. Forced out of bounds by Craig Rutledge. 125 left in this first half. Gators trying to put more nails in the coffin. Here comes the blitz again. Extra defensive back, standard coverage. Gators. Here's Tommy Taylor looking after Kerwin Bell. Bell looking for Natil on the go route. Broken up by Ron Pitts. Second and ten. Oh, Pitts needed to... He tried for the pick there, Ron Pitts. But he broke up the bomb to Ricky Natil. It was a straight fly route. Second and ten for the Gators at the UCLA 41. Anderson alone setback. Bell under center. Three wideouts. Neil McDonald and Rowley. Odom is the tight end. We're going to blitz our linebacker again. Extra defensive back standard coverage. Can they bring pressure on Bell and force him into a turnover? Here comes Tommy Taylor on the blitz. Bell drops back the pass. It's a draw to Anderson, and he'll pick up six. Tackle made by Tony Phillips. We're not going to call timeout. The Gators will use their first timeout. It's going to be third and four at the UCLA 35. 105 left in the first half. Again, three wide out set for the Florida Gators and Charlie Pell. Neil McDonald and Rowley, the tight end Walter Odom, Lorenzo Hampton, the lone running back, Kerwin Bell under center. We're going to go standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback, extra defensive back. And we're going to. Double 
Roley and Odom, the tight ends. Here we go. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. Double coverage on Roley and Odom. Bell moves back in the pocket. It's a draw. Hampton up the middle. Picks up eight. Fudge knocker. Another first down. Gators use their second timeout. First and ten. For the Gators at the UCLA 27. 57 seconds left in this first half. They have one timeout. McDonald and Rowley are your wideouts. Petty is the tight end. Williams the up back. Hampton behind him. Bell under center. Standard coverage, shadow the quarterback. We're playing pass. It's a run by John L. Williams. He breaks free. It's a 17-yard run. Finally tackled by Josh Shinnick. No, it's a 10-yard run. Tackled at the 17 by Josh Shinnick. Another first down. And the Florida Gators use their last timeout. First and 10, 49 seconds left in the first half. Florida, 21, UCLA, 6. He says, UCLA, we've been able to move the ball a bit, just not score. Can we limit them to a field goal here? They have no timeouts. We're going to play the sidelines once we... Oh, all purposes. We can't play the sidelines in all purpose. Williams and Massey are your running backs. Bell under center. Neal and Rowley are your wideouts. Petty's the tight end. Standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. Play the sidelines. Here we go. Pick six. Pick six. Hand off to Macy. And he'll pick up eight. And he gets out of bounds at the nine. Second and two. 40 seconds to go as he gets out of bounds. Anderson and Williams, eye formation for the Gators. Neal and Rowley are wideouts. Petty's the tight end. Kerwin Bell under center, barking out the calls. We're going to go bump and run coverage, shadow the quarterback. We're playing pass on second and two. Bell looking to... No, it's a draw to John L. Williams. Met at the line of scrimmage. He breaks the tackle. He fumbles! There's a pile up. UCLA's got to come away with it. Oh! Petty comes away with it. Another forced fumble by the Bruins. But they do not get the pigskin. A fortuitous bounce for the Gators. Tom Petty saves the day. I... We're not going to call a timeout. Bell looking to spike the ball. And it'll be second and goal with 25 seconds left from the UCLA 4. Second and goal. We're going to play short yardage on second and goal. And we're going to key John L. Williams. Why not? From the 4. UCLA playing the run, expecting Williams. It's a quick... Pass to Odom, deflected. Third down, almost jumping the route. Lee Knowles. Oh, he had a, a visions of a pick six going coast to coast. Third and goal, 19 seconds left. Ball spotted at the Bruin four. Short yardage again. Two um, wide outs are Natil and Rowley. Anderson and Williams are your backs. The tight end is Petty. And we're going to key John L. Williams once again on the run. Third and goal. Short yards for the Bruins. Keying Williams. Bell looking to throw. Forced out of the park it by Whalen. He's forced to run. He gets to the outside. Uh, touchdown, Kerwin Bell. Ugh. We get good pressure on Bell. He's able to turn the corner. And the Gators put up another Nest T plunge. 27 to 6. 15 plays, 95 yards, 4 minutes and 5 seconds. 27 to 6. Perkins with almost the automatic extra point. The snap, the place, the kick is up. And it's good. 28 to 6. 
The Gators covering that 19-point spread at the moment. Nine seconds left. What could have been if UCLA recovered those two forced fumbles? Here's the kickoff by Raymond. Anderson and Sherrard back deep. It's a squib kick. They don't want a long return. Anderson fields it. He accelerates to the outside, tripped up at the 37, and that ends the first half. That will end the first half. We're going to kick off with the wind. So John Lee puts the ball on the tee. It is absolutely necessary that UCLA does not let the Gators score on this drive. We're going to go for the deep kick here and hope for good coverage on the speedy Ricky Natiel or Joe Henderson. Here's the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone. Touchback. We had the wind with us. So the Gators have it first and 10 at their 20. I formation, Anderson and Williams. Williams the up back. Bell under center. Natiel and Rolly your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. Can we force a fumble here? Back in the pocket. It's a draw to Neil Anderson. Great, pre 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 Great penetration by Phillips. He misses the tackle. But Anderson is wrapped up as he was slowed down. Only a one-yard gain. So it's second and nine for the Gators at the 21. I formation once again. Second and nine. I'm going to play a standard zone on second and nine. UCLA drops in the zone. Bell back in the pocket. He's under duress. Sack. Dodges one defender. Bell's going to take off. And he only picks up one. So Bell, quite the mobile quarterback, but they're able to limit his run to one yard. Third and eight for the Gators from their 22. Third and eight. We're going to play standard zone again. Extra defensive back. Here we go. Third and eight. Brownlee snaps the ball. Bell drops back. Looking for Hampton. Well covered. He's moving around in the pocket. And McDonald complete at the 36. Gain of 16 on the out pattern. So once again, Kerwin Bell's legs extend the play. And it allows Ray McDonald to find the seam in the zone. For 16 yards and the first down. First and 10 will play run defense. We need to force a fumble here. UCLA playing the run. It's a handoff to Anderson. No, it's a play action fake. Bell looking to throw. It's a bomb to Frankie Neal for the kill. Complete to Neal. 20. And he will score. Touchdown. Play action fake over the top of bippity boppity boom to the moon. Touchdown. Nesty plunge. 62 yards, Kerwin Bell to Frankie Neal, 34 to 6. UCLA has no answer. Extra point by Chris Perkins. It's up, it's good, 35 to 6. As the Bruins once again face the shock and awe of the Florida Gators. Gators right now easily covering those 19 points that they had. If you bet the Gators, you had to lay. Raymond to kick off. Gaston Green and Mike Sherrard back deep. We need a big return. A change in mojo. Here's the kickoff. Green at the UCLA 2. He beats one man, but can't get past the second. He's tackled at the 26. Flag on the play. Illegal use of hands. Receiving team. That's going to back up the bus, Gus. Illegal use of hands on the Bruins. Half the distance of the goal line. Bruins start in the shadow of their own end zone. Bono under center. Andrews and Wiley, your running backs. Sherrard and Young, your wideouts. Derek Tunnell is the tight end. Play action fake, medium long to Mike Shepard on first and ten. Bump and run coverage. Here comes the pressure. Young being doubled. Bono looking, looking, looking. He's going to pass. Downfield, Shepard. Bono's going to force it. And Jarvis... Gets his hands on it, knocks it away, second and ten. Terry Donahue looking for answers on the UCLA sidelines. It's going to be an outside run to Danny Andrews on second and ten. Can he turn the corner? Tight coverage by the Gators. They're keying Wiley, and Alonzo Mitz 
Puts his mitts on Andrews. That's a two-yard loss. Third and 12. Things have just gone from bad to worse for the Bruins. Third and 12. Wide receiver screen to Mike Shepard on third and 12. From the five. Extra defensive back doubling Sherrard, I'm sorry, and Young. Here's the pass to Young. Well covered. And Bono throws it away. So the wide receiver screen to Sherrard wasn't there. Bono looked for Young. Nothing there. And he threw the ball away. Here comes the punt team on 4th and 12, and we're going to punt away. Oh, Roger Simbald. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to just punt. So Roger Simbald back, Kevin Buenafe to punt. Here's the punt by UCLA. It's a good punt. Fielded by Sinbad at the 48, picks up 3 yards. Gators in excellent field position at the UCLA 49. They are up 35-6 to with 11.57 to play in the third quarter. As Cleve Baseball Fan has joined us, 879, check out that wonderful channel. We're going to go with a run blitz here on first and 10. Williams and Hampton are the backs for the Gators. Natila and McDonald, your wideouts. Petty's the tight end. We need to force a fumble. Bruins looking for the run. Here come the linebackers. Williams goes for five, even with the run blitz. Tackled by Chris Block. We're going to go run. Oh, I might have went run defense there. We're going to go run blitz again. Anderson and Williams are your backs. Flag on the play. Flag offside. A false start. False start. Yes, offense. Offense. Back up the bus, Gus. False start. Bruins hoping beyond hope that some miracle can happen here. Second and ten. Gators go three wideouts. Natil, Neal, and McDonald. Neal caught that long touchdown pass. And Natil returned a 92-yard punt. For a touchdown. Odom's the tight end. The lone setback is Lorenzo Hampton. We're going to play all purpose defense. Bell, draw to Hampton. Only picks up four. Third and six. So third and six for the Gators at the Bruin 45. Anderson and Williams are your backs. John L., the up back. Neal and Rolly, your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. Third and six. Bump and run coverage, shadow the quarterback on third and six. Can we jump a route here? Bromley snaps the ball, Bell drops back to pass, flag on the play. False start. False start. Yes, back up the bus again. Offense. Man, the Gators commit a lot of penalties. Five-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage, third and 11. Three wideouts for the Gators. Natil, Neal, and McDonald. Anderson, the lone setback. Bell under center. Petty, P-E-D-D-I, is the tight end. Standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback. Extra defensive back. On third and 11. Back in the pocket. Draw to Anderson. God damn it. Gain a sixth. We held him. Fourth and five. We hold him. That will bring out the Gator punter, David Nadone. I think only for the second time in this game. And we're going to go normal. Nadone to punt, trying to pin the Bruins back deep. Nadone trying to get it inside the 10. And he does. It's down at the Bruins' 6. Good job by David Nadone. So the Bruins hold on defense, but the offense once again finds itself in the shadow of their own end zone. Jason Call, how you doing? Thank you very much. Hope all is well. So Bono will have to try to get a biblical miracle here, but there's still time. We need to score touchdowns. Anderson and Wiley are your backs. Sherrard and Young, your wideouts. Tanell, the tight end. Gaston Green's an F. We're going to go play action fake. We're going to look for... You know what? We're not going to go play. We're going to go screen to the fullback. Brian Wiley on first and ten. All purpose for the Gators. Keying Wiley on the run. Come on. Wiley complete. And he picks up one yard. The Gators defense. So much speed side to side. It's going to be second and nine. Second and nine. Andrews comes off. Gaston Green comes on. Actually, he could. You know what? James Primus comes on. 
And we're going to screen to Primus on second and nine. Florida expecting the run. Key and Green. Here's a screen to James Primus. At the four. And he picks up no yards. Unbelievable. Adrian White wraps him up and brings him down. We can't even get to the perimeters against this team. Third and nine. Andrews, the lone setback. It will be... Paco Craig, Mike Young, and Mike Sherrard, your three wideouts. The tight end is Derek Tennell. Draw to Danny Andrews on third and nine. Standard man-to-man -man coverage for Florida, doubling Tennell. Here's the draw to Andrews. Nobody in front of him. He picks up nine yards and the first. Nine yards and the first. That was huge for the Bruins. We'll stick with the three wide receivers set. Outside run, Danny Andrews on first and 10 from the Bruins 16. Bump and run coverage by Florida. Doubling Tunnell the tight end. Andrews, right side, picks up five. Knocked out of bounds. Second and five. Here come the Bruins. Hockey fan 76. How you doing? He called for the draw. We did the draw and it worked. Second and five. Andrews will come off. Actually, Andrews will stay on. <laughs> and we're going to go outside run again. Danny Andrews, three wide receiver set. Gators doubling Sherrard. Here's the outside run. Danny Andrews, he picks up three. Good pursuit. Sideline to sideline. By the Gators, tackled made by Jay Baker. Third and two. Third and two. Outside run, Danny Andrews on third and two. Florida playing the run. They're keying the quarterback, Bono. Outside run, Andrews. He gets to the outside, picks up seven. First down. So we're stretching out this Gators defense. Picks up seven. First and ten for the Gators at the 31. Play action fake, medium long to Mike Sherrard. We need some sort of big play here. Florida, man-to-man -man coverage, soft. Doubling Sherrard, Bono, play fake. Bono looking, looking, looking. Someone missed a block. Bono under duress. Bono. And he is, he has to scramble. Flag on the play, he's hit. He picks up a yard. Ah, uh, holding on the offense. We were hoping for it on the defense, but nothing going right for the Bruins. As Steve Bono doing his best Charlie Brown. Run for your life, Charlie Brown. First and 20. Draw. Danny Andrews on first and 20. Bruins stick with the three wide out set. They're expecting an outside run by Andrews. It'll be a delayed handoff to Danny Andrews. And he is hit at the line of scrimmage. Second and 20. Second and 20. Andrews goes off. Gaston Green comes on. Draw to Gaston Green on second and 20. Run defense by the Gators. Keying Bono. Delayed handoff. Green, a little bit of room, and then Alonzo Mitz gets his mitts on Gaston Green. Down goes Green. Third and 19. Only picked up a yard there. Screen to Paco Craig on third and 19. 503 to play in the third quarter. It's an all-out blitz by the Gators. Bono. To Craig, complete at the 17, stumbles at the 20, on his feet, 30, he's got some room, 40, and that's going to be a first down, gain of 22, oh, come on. Personal foul. Yes, defense. Defense. Yes, yes. So they pile on a late hit on Paco Craig by Roger Simbald, tack on 15 to that 22-yard gain, and the Bruins are playing their hearts out here. First and 10 for the Bruins at the Gator 41, 35 to six. Screen to Paco Craig again on first and 10. Florida man-to-man -man tight coverage, doubling. How can you be doubling Craig? Bono looking, looking. Complete to Craig still. Immediately nailed, and he loses a yard. How the hell are they doubling Paco Craig? <laughs> 
He's the worst receiver on the field. Well, they outsmarted me, I guess. Second and 11 for the Bruins at the Gator 42. Gaston Green on the outside run. Florida man coverage, doubling Sherrard. Here's Green to the outside. And Green, he's got something. He's got some daylight. 12 yards for Gaston Green. Finally brought down by Arthur White. And the drive stays alive. First and 10 for the Bruins at the Florida 30. Green goes out. Mel Farr Jr. comes in. Outside run to Mel Farr Jr. Florida playing the run. Keen Bono. Here goes Farr. And he loses four yards. Ron Moten introduces himself to Mel Farr Jr. Quite rudely. Second and 14. Well, that didn't work. Greg Francosis comes in. And we're going to go medium short to Francosis out of the backfield. Bump and run coverage by the Gators. Doubling Sherrard and Tunnell. Will Francosis be open? Nearly intercepted by Alonzo Johnson. But taken away by Francosis. And he'll pick up four. Knocked out of bounds. Third and ten. Jesus, we can't get any big plays here. RJL 518. Oregon losing to Stanford. There goes the Pac 12 chance for a playoff. 335 to play in the third quarter. Third and 10. We will put the points up if we have to, and then probably on side. Or still will kick away, probably. Third and 10. Screen. To Mike Young on third and ten. Florida expecting the pass. Bump and run coverage. Doubling Craig and Sherrard. Screen. Bono under duress. Screen to Young. Hauled in at the 35. And he only picks up four. Fourth and six. Kick the field goal. 80% chance on this 43-yard field goal. Lee's made two today. The snap. The kick. No oh, my God. No good. So the drive comes to an end with a John Lee missed 43-yard field goal with 2.48 to play in the third quarter. 80% chance of success, and we rolled that 20% of pooping the bed. Gators take over first and 10 at their 26. Run of uh, eye formation, Williams and Hampton. Bell under center. Neal and Rowley, your, bat, your wideouts. Odom's a tight end. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. And hope for a big hit and a fumble. UCLA playing the run. Hampton. Play action. Bomb. Roley complete at the 45. He can go a long, long way. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. Good recovery by Dennis Price. But it's a 28-yard gain for the Gators. First and 10 for the Gators at the UCLA 46. Again, we're going to play run defense. On first and ten, Anderson and Williams are the backs. Natil and Rowley, your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. We need a turnover. UCLA playing the run. Anderson, play fake. Bell looking for Ricky Natil. Open at the 25. He makes the catch. This will be a touchdown. No! Again, Dennis Price closes. Natil slow to get up, but it's a big gain of 39 yards. Two passes and a ton of yards for the Gators. It'll be first and goal for the Gators. At the UCLA 7. Inside run. Actually run blitz on first and goal. Williams and Hampton are the backs. Williams gets the carry. Picks up 6 yards. Second and goal. From the Bruin one, Bruins go to short yardage. So two big pass plays, a six-yard run, and the Gators are one yard away from another Nesty plunge. Playing short yardage, and we're going to key Kerwin Bell on the sneak. We're looking for Bell. It's an Anderson run up the middle. 
Nasty plunge. Touchdown. And the slaughter is officially on now. 41. Neil Anderson, 16 carries, 76 yards, and a score. Four plays, 74 yards. The two big pass plays really set that up. And here's Perkins for the automatic almost. It is good. 42 to 6. The Gators easily covering this 19 point spread. We're going to try to get out of this game as quickly as possible now. Here's the kickoff by the Gators. Paco Craig and Mike Sherrard back deep. Robert Raymond to kickoff. 122 left in this third quarter. It's a touchback. We're going to screen to Greg Francosis on first and 10. Florida playing the run. Here's the screen. Francosis at the 17. He picks up four yards, second and six. Francosis goes out. Danny Andrews comes in. We got a lot of red on our board. We're going to go screen to Mike Sherrard on second and six. Florida, neutral defense, doubling Sherrard. Bono, will he stick with the screen? Looking, looking. He's going to throw to Sherrard anyway. Sherrard at the 23. Nailed immediately. That's a loss of a yard. Third and seven. As nothing goes right for us, that ends the third quarter. 15 more minutes of misery. We change sides. Now we're going into the win. Third and seven. Draw Danny Andrews on third and seven. Tight coverage by the Gators. Doubling Tanell. Here's the draw to Danny Andrews. Met at the line of scrimmage. Only picks up two. Fourth and five. And here comes the punt team. Back deep is Ricky Natil. We're going to punt away from him. Kevin Buenafi to punt. Looking to aim towards the sidelines. It's a nice punt. Florida lets it roll. And it goes out at the 37. So it bounces out of bounds, I think. Anyway, they have it at the 37. Gators first and 10. Anderson and Williams, your backs. Neal and Rowley, your wideouts. Odom's the tight end. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. John L. Williams on the carry. No, another play fake. Looking on the corner route. And Shinnick almost jumped it for the pick. Pass intended for Frankie Neal. So second and 10 will play all-purpose defense. I formation for the Gators. Bell. Corner route to Natil. Natil makes the grab at the 49 of UCLA. Before being forced out of bounds by Craig Rutledge. Gain of 20. What? How many yards has Kerwin Bell thrown for? 261, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Bono, 19 of 22 for 94 yards. We completed 19 passes for pretty much nothing. Well, that's why they were 19-point favorites. So second and 10, run blitz. Maybe we force a fumble. Maybe we break someone's legs. Williams, play fake. Neal, post pattern, tipped away, redirected. Is it picked? Picked off by Neil Delacono. He's got some room. He could go all the way. Delacono racing. He's over midfield. But he is caught from behind at the Florida 39. So we finally get the... Oh, God, flag. Holding. Receiving team. So that's on the... After the interception. That's after the interception. So a good return by Delacono is going to bring the ball back. But Neil Delacono makes the pick on the tipped ball. Bruins come out. 13.49 to play in the game. Medium long to Mike Shepard. We have nothing to lose. They're looking for Andrews on the handoff. Bono looking for Sherrard. I keep calling him Shepard. Sherrard is open. Will he make the catch? He's got it at the 48. Gain of 25. Knocked out of bounds by Vernell Brown. First and 10 for Florida at the Gator 40. Medium long to Mike Sherrard again. Florida, standard set, doubling Craig. Bono looking, looking, looking. He's under duress. Bono looking off Sherrard, blindsided by Williams. That is a sack. Keith Williams, first sack of the day. 
A loss of seven. Second and 17. Second and 17. Medium short to Mike Young on second and 17. Gators, neutral defense, doubling to Nelt. Flag. Offsides. Offsides defense. Delay of game. Uh, offense. Offense. Jeez, nothing can go right. As hockey fan 76 says, we knew the kick would be no good. Al, with no luck on 80%. You're right, I have no luck with kickers. All right. <laughs> second and 22, what do you do? You run a draw on second and 22 with Danny Andrews. Florida playing pass, bump and run coverage, doubling a few people to Nell and Sherrard. Here's a draw to Danny Andrews. Andrews sheds, a, Siblad shed the blocker, holds Andrews to two. So third and 20, clock going tick, 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 and Terry Donahue's dreams of upsetting the Florida Gators here in FLA are coming to a quick end. Screen to Mike Sherrard. Third and long, Florida, man-to-man -man coverage. Here comes the blitz, doubling Young. Can we get it to Sherrard? Williams goes for the interception. He's got it. It's a pick. And he's immediately tackled. Jarvis Williams jumps the screen. So the Gators get the interception back. 12.08 to play. We're going to play run defense. Try to get out of this game as quickly as possible. UCLA playing for the run. Play action. Flag on the play. These bastards are still trying to score points. Offense. Offense. Oh, my God. Gators running up. Charlie Pell really wants to run up this score, you bastard. Haven't you kicked us in the nuts, stomped us in the nuts, bit us in the nuts? Now you want to rub salt on our nuts. Jeez, Louise. First and 15, all-purpose defense for the Bruins. What will the Gators do here? Anderson on the handoff, picks up eight, second and seven. All-purpose defense for the Bruins again. Run by Lorenzo Hampton, and he'll pick up seven around the edge. Close enough to measure. Will the Gators pick it up? Why not? No! Third and in inches. Third and in inches. Short yardage defense. Short yardage defense by UCLA. Third and in inches. Corwell gets the carry, and he picks up the first. As he picks up seven yards... As the Gators continue to roll over this Bruins team. We'll play all-purpose defense. First and 10 for the Gators at the UCLA 29. Hampton with the carry. Picks up eight. Tackled by Ron Pitts. Donahue can be heard on the, on the UCLA sideline screaming, Break someone's legs. Break someone's legs for God's sakes. Third and two. It's a run blitz. We go for the broken legs here. All of our linebackers coming. Flag on the play. Encroachment. Defense. Defense. Oh, we gave him the first. Unbelievable. First down. Yep. First down. Here we go. All perp. You know what? Run. You know what? Nateel and Roley. He's an F. He's an E right now. We're going to play run defense. Let's get a pick. Eight men in the box. A fumble, I mean. Hampton on the run. He'll pick up a couple. We had him in the backfield, but we couldn't wrap him up. So second and eight for the Gators at the Bruin 14. Williams and Hampton in the backs. Nateel and Roley a bit fatigued. Are the wideouts. Odom is the tight end. All-out blitz. Tight coverage. Why not? Kill Kerwin Bell. Kill Kerwin Bell. Flag on the play. 12 men on the field. Offense. Offense. Yes. As the Agni continues with every flag, the clock stops. You bastards. The Gators fans are intoxicated. Actually, they don't sell alcohol at college games. Am I correct? Do they sell alcohol at college games? So second and 13. It will be an all-out blitz again. Standard coverage on second and 13. Trying to kill Kerwin Bell. Williams, the ball carrier. Oh, he's in the clear! Pickup of 11. Third and two. 
What a move by the fullback. John L. Williams would go on to play for the Seattle Seahawks. So third and two. Run blitz by the Bruins. Here come the linebackers shooting the gap. Williams turns the corner. Melvin Jackson makes the tackle, but it's six yards. Williams, who might have broke his leg, he's slow to try to get up. Is he out for the game? No, he's okay. He's okay. 7.31 left in this agony. We'll play short yardage. Gators looking to really kick us in the nuts for the 18th time. Play fake Anderson. Brewer is going to pass. Natil Knowles breaks it up. So the new quarterback is Rodney Brewer. As Charlie Pell, they're playing a three tight end set. We're going to go short yardage again. And we're going to key John Williams. John L. Williams. I had to move the L so the pitcher would show up. King Williams. The ball is snapped. Anderson with the carry. Up the middle. No game. The Bruins defense defends. Under seven to play. These Gators fans continue to boo. Talk about sportsmanlike conduct. Sportsmanship, folks. You're killing us. So third and goal from the UCLA two. We play short yardage. Under seven to play. Three tight end set. Play fake Massey. Pocket collapses on Brewer. He takes off with the ball around the edge. Don't let him score. Touchdown, Rodney Brewer. Unfreaking believable. So everyone's getting into the show. As Charlie Pell is smiling like a Cheshire cat on that Gators sideline. 48 to 6. Here comes Perkins for the extra point. This should make it 49. Man, you can't you can't scheme enough in these games. You're 19 point underdogs in college. You're gonna get rocked. Well, the Auburn, we stayed close. I gave, kind of gave that game away. Auburn was a good game. Here's the kickoff. Sherrard and Craig back deep. Raymond kicks it. Craig forced out of bounds at the 17. Who's our? Who, do we have any? Let's we have a uh, Matt Stevens. David Norrie. David Norrie. Why not bring in David Norrie? We'll bring in David Norrie. Quick short pass to Sherrard. Norrie now in at quarterback. Gators, man-to-man -man coverage, doubling Sherrard. I'm sensing a pick six. Pass a little high. Sherrard comes down with it at the 20. Nailed immediately. Wow, we picked up a yard. Second and 11. Quick short pass to Derek Tennell. Nori, it's a blitz. Doubling Sherrard. Nori in trouble. Running for his life. Flares it to Danny Andrews. And Eastman picks it off at the 23. Return the pickoff for five yards. Ricky Eastman with the pick of the David Nori pass. And the Gators have it. First and 10 at the UCLA Bruin 18. It will be a run blitz on first and 10. Rodney Brewer back under center for the Gators. Here's the snap. John L. Williams. Flag on the play, Flag on the play for God's sakes. Holding offense. Holding offense. Glazer made the tackle. Loss of four will decline. We'll make it second and 14. Run defense for the Bruins. Brewer under center. Anderson on the run. Short side of the field. Picks up five. Third and nine. All-purpose defense for the Bruins. Three wideouts for the Gators. Brewer. It's a draw. Shocking. Hampton has the carry. Hit at the 15. He fumbles. And Rodney Brewer falls on it. Unbelievable. We have forced three fumbles and not gotten one of them. Are you nuts? We're not calling timeout. Robert Raymond, 65% chance of making this 32-yard field goal. He'll, he'll boot it right through. It's on its way, and good. good. 65%. Of course he boots it through the middle. We had 80% and we missed. So they've gone over the half-century mark here. Now 52-6. to six. Here's the kickoff. 3.55 left in this game. Durrell at the 2. 
Darrell will pick up 12 yards as he's tackled at the 14. David Norrie, we've seen enough of you. Let's go with Matt Stevens. Matt Stevens, why not? Let's go medium long to Sherrard. Florida, soft man coverage, doubling Tanell and Sherrard. Stevenson looking, looking, looking. Short pass to Andrews out of the backfield, deflected by Simball. Okay, let's just run a draw here and get the hell out of this game. Bump and run coverage. Extra defensive back for the Gators. Here's the draw to Danny Andrews. Great penetration by Moten. But Andrews still struggles for four. We're not calling timeout. Draw to Danny Andrews again. Andrews is the only good thing in our offense. They're keying Andrews on the pass. Also doubling Sherrard. It's a draw. And Andrews picks up three. Fourth and three. We'll go for it. Wiley on the draw. Why not? It's a blitz. Stevenson. Draw. Wiley. Wiley. Four yards. And the first down. That's clutch. <laughs> trying to run this clock out. Draw to Wiley. Under two minutes to play. Florida playing the pass. Why? Here's the draw. Wiley. Hitting the backfield. Stays on his feet. He's going! 30! Over the 40! And brought down from behind by Jarvis Williams. That's a gain of 26. The UCLA Bruins offense has come to life. We will not call timeout. Draw. Wiley. This is what you call yards and garbage time. Nickel defense for Florida. It's a blitz. It's a ballroom blitz. The draw to Brian Wiley. Wiley is brought down. Gain of three. Second and seven. Under a minute to play. Bono back on the field. Quarterback draw. Why not? Florida. Extra defensive back. Looking pass. Doubling Sherrard. Why? And Bono picks up five. Third and two. Third and two. Third and two. This will be the final play of the game. Third and two. Why not just throw it up to Sherrard? That's what we're going to do. So Bono comes in. He's just going to chuck it up. They're doubling Tunnell. Bono looking deep for Sherrard. Sherrard at the five and a touchdown. The UCLA Bruins finally score a touchdown. Bono to Sherrard. Bono, 21 to 25, 160 yards and the TD. We finally put one in. Let's go for two. Why not? We're going to go for two. Bono on the quarterback draw. Trying to make it 14. Man-to-man -man coverage for the Gators. Doubling Tunnell. Bono, Bono, Bono. Draw play. Not much for Bono. He makes his own hole and he's in. Yes, 52 to 14. What a closing drive by the Bruins. We're only down 38 with five to play. Onside kick, why not? The ball's bobbled around. We'll probably recover this. And the Bruins get it! And the game should be over. And it is. An offensive explosion by the Gators. The Gators advance to the Elite Eight by crushing UCLA 52-14. Kerwin Bell, the MVP of the game. 261 yards, three touchdowns. Um, 249 quarterback rate. I didn't think you could get that high. And... Six yards rushing and a TD. So Kerwin Bell, I mean, we put up 338 yards of offense, a lot of it in garbage time. Bono did not play horrible. We almost got a, 100 yards out of Andrews, 18 for 92. And Craig, Paco Craig, four receptions, 37 yards. We forced three fumbles, but didn't get any of them. We got one pick, but we were intercepted twice. It was ugly, ugly, ugly. We were sort of in it in the first half. Let's go to the box score quickly. I mean, yeah, we had it 14 to 6 for a little bit until the 528 mark of the second quarter, and it was 21 6, and it was downhill from there. We did score at the end. 
And that's something positive, I guess. It was an ugly game, folks. Bono, 21-25, 160, a touchdown, a pick. Nori, 1 for 2 with a pick. Stevenson, 0 for 1. Stevens, 0 for 1. Andrews, 18 for 92. His long was 32 yards. Green, 9 for 56. We had the ball down there. We couldn't pick up fourth downs and shorts. We couldn't We couldn't score when we had two cracks from the goal line. And I kicked the field goal because it bring, bring us to within eight. Um, Sherrard, 4 for 64 to touch down the long pass play at the end in garbage time. That's about it. I mean, Anderson, 19 for 89 on the ground, a touchdown. Florida Gators advance. That's all we can say about that. So the Gators advance in crushing fashion, in shock and awe fashion, 52-14 to 14 over the Bruins. They were 19-point favorites, and now we know why. Our next game will be number 13 Miami, who we'll play as, against number 4 Washington. So that's going to be our fourth game coming up once I load up all the pitchers. That'll be sometimes next week. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank Steeler Fan 1933, Hockey Fan 76, RJL518, Rob, our good friend, check out that wonderful channel. Cleve Baseball Fan 879, check out his wonderful channel. Jason Cull, thank you. Dave Gardner, thank you very much. Replay Gamer, thank you. Retro Replays MN, thank you. SG, SGJ Jamie, thank you. Captain Carl 8 and Alan Greggy. And of course, Steeler Fan 1933, our good friend Matt. Ooh, we got we got crushed. Oh boy. Well, hopefully when we get to some more comp let's see for ha ha's. Let's just go previews. Ooh, even. I might have a shot here. I started loading up the pitchers, and I get to play as Miami. So we got Bernie Kozar, Willie Smith, Eddie Brown. Um, we got it. I think we got a shot of winning this one. Let's close that out. We we all, this was the best game. What a heck of a game! BYU put up twenty points on us in the fourth quarter. We were up sixteen nothing going into the fourth quarter. We lost that game. Oklahoma crushed us. Uh, they beat Florida State thirty four to seven. And as you saw, at least we scored fourteen points in this one. Florida crushed us fifty two to fourteen. So stick with this project. It's a lot of fun. This is a good game. Second and ten, among many other good games out there. So thank you very much. Health and happiness. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way we want to be treated. I might be back on with a little bait, with a little bit of baseball, or maybe a quick chat with Al. I don't know. I'm not tired. So once again, God bless. You know it's coming, folks. You know it's not coming. The UCLA Bruins going to the lead eight because they were destroyed by the Florida Gators, 52 to 14. The number three Gators advance. All the top seeds have advanced. Number one BYU. Number two Oklahoma. Number three. Florida Gators. Our next game on the channel, number 13 Miami against Washington. And right now in the preview, it is a pick'em game. Well, no, I'm wrong. Because now when I clicked on it, before it was a pick'em game, and all of a sudden we're 13-point underdogs. But we got Bernie Kozar and a little bit of offense. So we might give him a game there. Take care. Peace! Love you all. I might see you very soon. In fact, shortly.